Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dom here. In this video, we are going to learn how to back up MySQL or MariaDB database with Compress and then Restore. So this is really important when you have a bigger database and you want to have Compress and then you it take less time while you move them from one server to another server. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look on syntax first. Uh, so what we need to do here is pretty same what we have done in the previous video. MySQL dump. That's what we are going to use here. So you see that MySQL dump. Then you will say dash u. You provide your username. Dash p. Provide your password. Database name that you would like to take the backup. And then here you will say gzip dash nine. So there are different uh, switches uh, available. Dash nine is uh, uh, when uh, um, uh, compress better. You know there is a dash one and dash l and all that and dash c. So you can uh, see whatever uh, the switch works best for you. But in my case, uh, I'm saying compress better. That's fine. And then uh, you have to provide the file of where the backup should be taken. Um, okay, so let's change this one. Now we have we know that we have one of the database called the test DB, and uh, I'm going to use the root here. So uh, same statement. Let's ch just uh, fill the information here, and I know the password is the DBA123. In my case, so your case it will be different. Okay, so our database name is the test DB. Test DB. Uh, this will stay as it is and uh, here we have to provide the, the uh, directory in which uh, our backup file will be mysql backup slash and I'm gonna call this one testdb okay testdb.sql.gz alright so we run this uh, statement and once we run it we should see a direct uh, file created uh, here so you can see that is in a uh, uh, red test db dot sql dot gz you can uh, see uh, the size if you want ls minus la and uh, last time when we did without gz I can tell you the size was 1844 bytes uh, now it is 679 uh, bytes uh, so there is a major difference uh, at least three times uh, okay great now next part is uh, we will be restoring but we will before we restore this database uh, we will go ahead and drop the database from the destination and then come back and restore so I'm gonna log into the mysql uh, dash p Okay, let me clear the screen. Show databases. Um, we have test database here. Use test DB. And uh, we have a table test in this database. So just to show you the data. So we have a, a one record in this data table. Okay, I'm uh, going to clear the screen again and say drop database. Uh, test DB. Good. So the database is dropped. We can see it shouldn't be there anymore. So we don't see it has database anymore here. Good. Now we will exit from here and what we are going to do, we are going to restore. So for the restore, it's uh, the same command what we have used, but we have to add a gun zip in that one. So I'm going to paste the syntax here. And you can see that uh, instead of saying MySQL directly and then uh, restoring to it, you have to start with the gun zip. Okay. Then you provide uh, the file path where your file is. Uh, in our case, uh, um, I, I will change that. Let's uh, review the first. Then you have pipe sign here. Then you say MySQL dash u username password and database name to which you would like to restore okay great easy uh, let let's uh, start from the left and uh, here we know that our directory in which uh, we took the backup is mysql backup dash test db that's what the name of file we had it and uh, we use the root user root and password is db123 in my case you can have different user and your password password will be different and the database we are restoring is the test db okay great so now once we run this one it is saying oh you don't have that database there that means we have to create an empty database there before we run the restore part of it okay so let's do that quickly uh, I, I left this um, I could have created the database there, but I just want to leave it so you can see the error in cases that you have this error. And uh, we say mysql dash u root dash p dba123 create database test db database is created exit back to the node shell 
and then run the statement again okay so now the database is restored it was quick because it was even less than 1 kb so all good we go back to this mysql or mariodb and then take a look okay use test db and then select start from test table okay it should have one record okay all right that, that's how you will uh, uh, run your uh, backup uh, with the compression and then uh, you will restore by using gunzip and uh, this uh, above statement um, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in the next video